Hello, hello you guys. It's Relentless Renee back with another bizarre story. Now, this story is coming out of Florida. I'm going to read you the snippet from the article. And as always, I put every link that you can go and read the article for yourself in the description box. A woman forced two children to live in a filthy house where every surface was smeared with animal waste from all sorts of pets. Lee Stump, 42, was arrested Tuesday at the Department of Children and Family Investigators discovered the disgusting condition of her home where a teenage boy and girl also lived. A 13-year-old boy was removed from the Florida home and placed in custody of child services. Stump also had a 15-year-old girl live at the home, but she was currently staying at a home, I guess someplace else, with, with a relative at the time. As soon as investigators opened the door to the home, they could smell a strong odor of feces and urine and saw feces all over the floor, according to the Marion County Sheriff's Office. They noted there were flies and other insects flying around inside the house and there was trash just dispersed throughout the home. Dirty laundry was piled on all of the furniture in the living room which was also covered in feces. According to one of the investigators, the showers in the home did not work, and Stump said she boiled water when the teenagers needed to bath. Investigators noted that the boy was dirty and was not wearing any shoes. There were also several dogs, cats, rabbits, cage animals, reptiles living right there in the living room all of which were removed by um, the animal um, control services. Some told investigators that she was disabled which prevented her from cleaning her house. It is unclear what Stump's relationship is to the children however they noted that you know she just walked out of her house and got into the back of the patrol car without any assistance, without them even asking her or anything. So she was booked in at the Mar Marion County Jail, where she was released on her own personal recognizance. She is set to appear in court on February twenty sixth. As you can see with the pictures. I don't know if I want to be mad or feel sad for this lady. I mean, the children are age where they can clean up themselves, but if they have not been taught and they seem, see their mother carry a house like this, what do you expect out of them? The reason why I want to feel sad because we don't know if she's mentally disturbed. We don't know if she had a, a you know, she's disabled or on some type of medication. Um, we just don't know what her situation is. She could have been traumatized by something that has her in a depression mode right now so that's why I feel sad but I don't know if I want to be mad because I have no words to describe the pictures that you're looking at how can anybody live in filth I mean if you're in a house where food is somewhere and we all know what happens you know if ants not attracted to it then you start to have blow flies and you start to have what is it maggots and oh my god you can digest that stuff and get it into your digestive system and actually you know just be sick or if not poison just from being nasty 
are the different toxins that can that can form just by you being nasty. I mean, you can tell that she's not well kept. You can even look at her hair, her skin. Um, and how in the world can you have all these animals on the inside of a house, of your home? It looks like it would have been cleaner to live on the outside of the home. I mean, I just don't see how anyone can do it. I mean, I have um, family members that are mentally challenged. Some of them live in group homes, but they still take care of their own space. And they have enough sense to know if you move something, they got a problem with that. So, with our family members, we just have to be our own brother's keeper sometime. Especially if you know... That that person is mentally incapacitated. I mean, if it takes you reporting them or, you know, for the for the child's sake or whatever, you can do it anonymously. I mean, this is just nasty. It's unacceptable, you know. And the children shouldn't have to live in, in a filthy, hoarded condition like this. But I just wanted to share the story with you. Um, me being the parent that I am and the parents that I had, I know this would never fly in my parents' house. And it definitely will not fly in mine. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk with you guys on the next video.